Hello all my video editing friends, this is Curtis F. Taylor and welcome to today's overview of how to do the Ken Burns effect in PowerDirector 15, also known as the pan and zoom, also known as the zoom and pan. Today we will be focusing on doing this effect on videos. My last video focused on the introduction of the Ken Burns effect and how to use it when working with photographs and still images. Now unlike when working with photographs and still images which uses magic tools, as you'll see today we will need something called power tools. But first off, let's pick our video that we're going to work with. For that, we're going to do the kite surfing. All right, this is a stock video that comes with PowerDirector 15, so you should have it if you want to try to replicate the what I'm doing here on the screen. The next off, what you want to make sure is that clip is selected over here on the right side and not movie. When you're over on movie, you'll notice that you have very few options. And under tools, there's something called power tools, but you cannot click on it, and that's what we want to get to today. But if you go to clip, a lot more options, you go to tools, and when you click on power tools, you will get the option to do things such as 2D to 3D, video speed, video rotation, but what we want is the crop and zoom. And once you click on crop and, crop and zoom, nothing seems to happen, but as you can see over here, you get another option for crop and zoom, and then you click it. Now the crop and zoom box opens up, which looks very much like the Magic Motion Designer box. Um, but again, I'll go through it if you haven't seen the last tutorial. So over on the right hand side, you have the preview window, which you'll use pretty extensively to watch your video as you start making modifications. You have the tilt options, and then you have the aspect ratios. Now over here on the right side, you pretty much don't have to touch anything. Now on the left is where you will be playing around and this is where everything happens. Now you'll notice that in this particular case there is a red diamond over here on the left but nothing else down here. And down here on this dark gray bar that is your timeline. So in the Magic Motion Designer box for stills they give you an automatic starting point and ending point. But with this it doesn't so we're just going to go down here to the end and create our own ending point by adding another keyframe. All right. Notice that this right here has turned red and the one on the left has turned orange. So this is your active keyframe. All right. And so right now if I wanted to make a modification, this is the end of the video. And so if I wanted to do the Ken Burns effect, what you're looking for cuz Ken Burns effect is about panning and zooming. And so what we will do is we'll let it go up here, all right, and we'll zoom out. Okay, so we barely have him in the image. Let's bring this down. And then if we go back to the beginning, which now up here you'll see that there's this blue circle. The blue circle is what's needed to move around the whole box. The white box that you see here is what allows you to decide what's being viewed, which you can see your preview up here in the top right. All right, so I'm gonna move this over. And then what happens is you see this orange. So orange matches up with orange. Blue matches up with red. Why they do that, I don't know. But watch when we go over here and click the beginning orange. This turns blue, this turns red, and then vice versa over here. And this right, this green line is your panning line. All right, so this is the way that it's going to move. So we click here, but we're, we want to start our video focused on this guy. So we're going to zoom all the way down. If you watch a preview window, you can see that we're just going to focus all the way down on him. And then what's going to happen is it's going to pan along this line, and then once it gets here, it's going to be zoomed out. So we'll stop. Oh, there we go. completely zoomed in on him and then we'll do our preview and you will see that it just slowly expands out you can see it on there all right and if we go ahead and say okay we like that we click OK then you can see here it's already zoomed all the way in on this guy which is not how it was originally and when you hit play you can See that you'll see more and more of the screen, all right? And that's 
kind of the, how the Ken Burns effect works. And on still images, it's very dramatic. On videos, not usually as much. Now what else you can do though, since we're in the crop and zoom effect, we can go back to that. And what we can do, play around so that we can focus on him the whole time, so he is the main focus as we go. So you'll see, as we scoot down the timeline, and you also see the little blue circle travel down the timeline. All right, still in focus, still in focus, still got the box around him. Uh, that now you'll see that the blue box is not around him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another keyframe by clicking on the diamond and the plus symbol. And we're going to all right, spin that out a little, move it on top of him. All right. And we'll click down and the, click another keyframe and then we'll just continue to move this. Now remember to move the box be on the blue circle. All right. Or you can use the orange for quick travel so you can jump back and forth. down the timeline all right so now he's way over here we can actually add another and then kind of let's go back down here we'll add another and we'll focus in on him a little bit more and to do that you just kind of shrink the box you move this over now you're, you can see the lines getting all out of control but it's fine as you'll see when we do our preview here in a little bit and then it'll start zooming back out. So what we'll do is we'll hit stop, play, and watch in the preview window. You can see if he stays in focus the whole time, which he does. And then it pans out so you get the full view. And once you're okay with that, you can click okay. You can just watch the preview, see if it does everything that you want it to do. Now that you don't have uh, two conflicting boxes that might I messed up your attention and if you if it's all good you're done so one other thing that you can do is if you go back to crop and zoom there is something over here that is called a duplicate keyframe and what that does is you can get it so it looks like the box doesn't move it doesn't zoom it doesn't pan and to do that find an area add a keyframe then while you're still on that keyframe, hit the duplicate keyframe. And then it's gonna ask you to do the previous or the next keyframe. In this particular case, we wanna do the previous one. All right. And it actually, what it did is it moved the dot on the timeline to be overlapping this one. And so when we do this video this next time, you will see that this does not, when it gets this far, it doesn't seem to zoom or do anything. If you're okay with it, you click OK. Now with the video, the pan and zoom effect um, or the Ken Burns effect is not as important as it is with still images. It can still be done and you'll find sometimes if you have some really old videos that there's a way to use it and you can really maximize some effect with it, but it would some, take some time to really play with it and master that. So with that, um, again, you could also use this for instructional videos. So if you were trying to show someone something and you'll see here in a little bit, when I am doing the video itself, there'll be parts that I zoom in on. And to do that, I actually had to use the crop and zoom because I'm doing that effect on a video and not on a still. So with that, I'll leave it to you and I would say you should play with it this week. You should see what ways that you can maximize some of the videos you might have already created, especially if you've done instructional videos. This is one of those tools that are very good for that. If there's any family outings and you're trying to focus on someone um, through the video, again, this crop and zoom is what you want for that. So if you guys like this video, and if there's any other functionality of PowerDirector you would like me to tackle, 
please let me know and I'll gladly start working on it. And with that, my friends, may God bless you in your video making endeavors. This is Curtis F. Taylor signing off.